Hey everybody, and welcome to the next chapter, selecting subsets of data from a series. So we just learned how to select subsets of data from a data frame with just the brackets loc and iloc. Those three index indexers are also available with series. So we're going to cover how to use all of them in this one video. All right now, before we get there, I want to cover a, another way to select a single column from a data frame that I did not teach before. So here I've just read in the movie data frame and put the title into the index. So previously we learned to select a particular column, let's just say the uh, duration, which is in minutes over here. We use just the brackets and we place the string name inside of just the brackets like that. Now, pandas gives you an alternative way to do this with just the dot notation. So that's what I used up here. So you access it as if it were an attribute. So you can access all the columns as if they were attributes and you're gonna get the exact same thing. So I just executed the cell and I get the very uh, exact same thing. It selects a single series. Okay, so both of them are identical. So let's just put dot head, let's move down here. So I don't recommend doing this. And the reason for this, uh, there are actually three reasons uh, to avoid doing this. All right, so number one, you cannot select columns that have spaces in them. So if, for instance, um, we had a column with a space, which we don't in this example, but if content rating had a space in it, you cannot syn syntactically, Python does not allow you to do that. So this would just be invalid syntax if you try to put a space here like that. So it's already worse than just the brackets in that it doesn't work with every single column. Now, um, another, uh, another uh, area where it fails is if there is a column name that has the same name as a pen as a data frame method. So for instance, like count is a data frame method, but if you have a column called count, then the method will be called first. Uh, it has higher precedence. So you will not be able to access um, columns with the same name as pandas methods. The last reason is that say you have a, some sort of variable that's equal to the column name. So say we have uh, A equals year. You cannot uh, use A right here. It's not going to translate at all. But uh, you can do that with just the brackets. So um, if you do have a variable that's assigned to a column name, then uh, this will work. So these are the three reasons uh, to avoid using this notation, uh, the dot notation to access columns. So it's a strict um, you know, a uh, superset is the, uh, or the, uh, the dot notation is a strict subset of the, uh, of the brackets. So there's, there's, uh, basically, um, there's no advantage over doing this. You're just, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're also, the, the other thing is that you're duplicate. There's, there's two, there's two methods to do, uh, one single, uh, do one single operation and, um, in my opinion, it's better to stick with just one method that works for all cases. So the square brackets, the just the brackets as they call them, work for all cases, so I recommend sticking with them. All right, yeah, and other people will use the dot notation, and this is one reason to know why this exists, because you will see other pandas users doing that. So you need to know uh, about it, you need to be aware of it, because you will see it, although I don't recommend using it. Okay, so now let's actually do the subset selection. So here we're just gonna select a single column of data. We're gonna select the IMDB score. So we have about 5,000 movies and here are their IMDB scores. So um, we're only gonna use loc, and I'm gonna to suggest to only use loc and iloc um, uh, for, for doing subset selection with a series and that's because there are no columns in a series so um, a series just has an index and it just have values so there's no columns there's no such thing as simultaneous row and column selection with a series 
we're just selecting particular values of the index. And you can do that with loc or iloc. So loc works the same way. Um, it, uh, it, is, it works by label. You can pass it a single label, a list of labels, or a slice of labels. So let's go ahead and see how those work. Let's see one example of each. So let's say we were interested in the movie Forrest Gump. We can select just that with a scalar. So we just get, and when I say scalar, I just mean a single value. So there's loc. I'm passing in it the label. Um, so let's just say um, we want to select um, more than just Forrest Gump. We want to select some other movie. Something like, um, just use one that's here, Avatar and the first ones. So say we want to select Avatar and Forrest Gump. Well, we can just create a list and do dot loc and pass in the list right there. So we just get that. Now this does return a series because we're we're returning um, multiple, um, you know, multiple values. And then we can slice. So this is the last thing uh, we can do here. Is so we do dot loc and say we want to slice from Avatar all the way up to for and let me scroll up here all the way up to Forrest Gump well we can certainly do that a lot of movies we can even add in okay so we can add in go by every hundred so give me every hundred movies from Avatar to Forrest Gump now unless Forrest Gump is exactly a multiple of 100 uh, more than Avatar then it's not going to appear so that's why it does not appear in the last one over here if we just did by one, it will be the last one. That's how you can use slice notation. So either a single label, a list of labels, or a slice of labels. Now we can do the same thing with iloc. So let's uh, you know, do the same thing. Let's pick out, say, the 100th movie. All right, great. So it does a single, um, a single integer. Let's do a list of integers. So we can do the 100th movie and the 200th and the 500th movie, for instance. So the, that returns these movies. So that's a list of labels. And then the last way to do this is to do a slice of labels. So we can say go from 100 to 200 and let's just hop by 20. So start, stop, step. One, not one integer, list of integers, or a slice of integers. So again, iloc is integer location, beginning at zero. All right, so you actually can use just the brackets here. Um, so let me go ahead and grab a couple of these examples here and paste them down here. And I will show you that you actually don't even need loc or iloc for this to work out correctly. So we can get rid of iloc and loc. So now we have just the brackets appended directly to our series. And both of these will actually work. So um, they both work. So you're, you might be thinking like you could just use the brackets and you know get away with it. Um, I'm going to recommend against doing this. And that's because it is ambiguous uh, as to what you are doing. So I know you can see here that you're clearly using strings uh, for this one. Um, but when you put dot loc here, you're telling who, who's ever reading the program that you are selecting by label. So this is, uh, you know, explicit and it tells you exactly what you're doing. You, you have to select by label. You don't have a choice. Now, the, uh, the just the brackets allow you to select by um, you know, uh, allow you to select by either integer location or by label. So they are ambiguous, which is why I have this word right here. So I don't like ambiguity um, in my code, even though uh, I can, I know that it can work. Um, when you, you will have problems if you do have integers as your labels, which we don't in this case. So you will run into some trouble if you try to select by you know uh, with integers, then then pandas don't won't necessarily know whether you want to select by label or whether you want to select by integer location since the labels are integers. 
So I like being explicit, so I'm gonna recommend saying use .loc here whenever you wanna use labels and iloc whenever you wanna use um, integer location. All right, so that wraps up uh, selecting subsets of data with a, uh, with a series. So we uh, saw how loc and iloc are used in both of them. They, uh, they both take either a single you know, value, a list of values, or a slice of values. All right, um, that does it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.